Hey guys, we all remember the AI generated picture of Donald Trump being arrested, right? It was quite impressive, but still obvious that it was an AI generated image. But today AI image become really realistic. In this video, I will showcase how AI will change the future of jewelry business online. The tools I'll be using are free, but they are not very easy to use. Hopefully they'll get better over time. First, let's mention the problem we are facing now. As a jewelry supplier, I'm sure this applies to a situation too. I'm having trouble right now because I'm selling the same item as a different supplier. So our pictures are the same. To set myself apart uh, from other suppliers, I need to either lower my price or add a small logo to the side of my pictures. Of course, we can also appear different by having our pictures taken again. But some of us have thousands of items. And personally, I don't want to take pictures again because it will take a lot of time and cost a lot of money if I have to pay someone to do it. I'm living in Hong Kong and the cheapest product photography service I could find was in China. They charge me about $7 per picture. A single product needs at least six pictures. So a single product will cost me uh, $42, right? The problem is I have more than a thousand products. So uh, if we do the math, it will cost me like more than $40,000. Uh, so retaking my pictures is definitely not the best option. And guys, this is where AI comes in. It can change our pictures and make them look completely different. As an example, I have uh, the original image of a ring and I use a comfy UI with a workflow I downloaded from AI Fuss. I incorporated it uh, to the workflow and wrote in some prompts of the background I want to change to. And guys, one thing I have learned along the way is finding the correct prompt was harder than I thought. Uh, you need to actually understand a little bit how the nodes operates. But personally, for me, I just reach out for help on some uh, subreddit whenever I need it. People there are usually super helpful since they have more skills and experience in this domain. Anyway, the workflow applies a mask and removes the background. And then based on the prompt you use, it generates a completely different background. What I really like is that it also adjusts the lightning according to the environment and blend it seamlessly with the actual products. This can also be relevant to your business. For instance, if you are active in dropshipping or selling on platforms like Etsy, some sellers have had their image taken by other sellers from AliExpress, putting their account at risk of suspension, you know? Additionally, it could uh, enhance your listings in uh, considering the upcoming change from Etsy, which will soon require sellers to provide an image. Comfy uh, UI is uh, free, but there is some uh, downside. Uh, first, it's pretty complicated for the average users. And second, it needs a solid hardware, like a good GPU, Nvidia in preference, and at least 32 gigabyte of RAM. Otherwise, generating an image will take forever. If you would like to experiment, but you have a lower end computer, you can rent GPU online by using services like vast.ai. And clearly, Comfy UI isn't for us. It's more for uh, programmers who build apps. Uh, and I'm sure there are services out there that can make this stuff easier. But I haven't found any yet. Next, AI can also expand your image. As an example, featuring this lady with half her face and uh, showcasing my products. 
we can generate a complete face without painting. Mm. Uh, it's a free tool, you know. Uh, just upload your image, uh, type in your prompt, and create a face that fits your needs. The key point here is that uh, it does not change my products. It simply fills the image by adding extra elements while keeping the existing theme unmodified. It's definitely not going to be perfect for now, and I usually enhance it with uh, Topaz AI to add more details to the image and uh, also use Photoshop to blend certain areas for a more realistic look. The reason I'm generating a full face uh, is to use another features like face swapping. And uh, for example, if uh, you like to work with an influencer from uh, another country, usually a cheaper country, <laughs> you may be unsure to send them products at first, especially if you are dropshipping or running a print on demand business. Uh, then it can be, you know, uh, super uh, useful uh, to use, um, you know, uh, this type of service and replace their face with uh, your AI products image. Uh, check out this example with my friend. I'm going to take her stunning face from her Instagram and use an AI face, you know, fusion app to blend it with my product image. Let me show you first. Uh, let's take a screenshot of her face, then upload both images on the app and start swapping their faces. Of course, guys, it's not uh, perfect yet because AI is still just beginning, but in the future, we will see big improvements that uh, we won't even be able to see if the picture was made with AI. Uh, to sum up, this topic was about how I think AI will change the jewelry business. The things I talk about are only a small part of what AI can do. For example, you can uh, take items with uh, your phone and use AI to have a model wear them. That's good news for us and for photographer also. Uh, it's going to uh, make our work easier, you know. Anyway, guys. Please leave a like and let us know what you think of AI in the comments below.